What's up guys, my name is Nick and I'll be your virtual tutor for this evening. Welcome to your very first SurfCam tutorial. Now, we are going to be covering the interface of SurfCam. So if you already know the interface, just skip on down to the next few videos and we're going to be going over in detail layers and views and so on and so forth. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. I'm going to start at my top left and work my way to the bottom right and then I'm going to cover these top buttons. Okay, now these first four buttons you probably recognize they're in every software known to man. It's going to be new, open, this little dinosaur three and a half disc floppy that nobody uses is save and print. So if you want a new document you just hit new. If you want to open a document you can just hit open. If you want to save the document just hit save and same with print. Okay so these next four buttons, I'm going to keep this kind of brief, I know this stuff is boring, but uh, these next four buttons, fit, rotate, zoom in, zoom out, and uh, the, the fifth button, pan, is all done with your mouse. So there's no need to waste your time and go up here and click these. So if you have a mouse with a middle scroller, if you use your middle scroller, it'll zoom in and out. If you click your middle scroller in and rotate, it will rotate your part. If you hold control, and click that middle scroller in it'll pan around and I don't really use fit much but if you have to you can hold control and hit F and it'll fit and all fit does is it fits your geometry to the middle of the screen okay alright last view it just does your last view that you were in next view same thing repaint what repaint will do is if there's any glitches on your screen or pixels or anything like that if you hit repaint it will just basically refresh your page okay delete it's to this trash can right here it'll just you you'll be able to delete geometry and lines and so on and so forth transform deals with your geometry and drawing and stuff like that we'll have we'll cover all these buttons later but I'm just giving you a brief overview the operation manager, the white box at the top of your screen, is for your toolpaths. All right, toolpath verification and backplot are your animation of your toolpaths. All right, color. What color can do is you can preset a color for when you're drawing geometry and all of that. So if you want, you know, red lines and stuff like that, you just pick red. Okay. Alright, these next three buttons are dealing with your different views and how you set them. We'll have a different video covering that. Layers, that's another video. We go into detail all these buttons and what layers can do for you. Alright, these next three buttons, they're pretty simple. Wireframe is just going to put you in wireframe mode. Shaded with wireframe will have your surfaces and your wireframe. And shaded will just take your wireframe away and you'll just have surfaces alright the next one is going to be set coordinates that deals with your views we'll uh, go over that later masking that deals with everything so if you want to select certain things certain size holes certain colored lines that deals with masking alright set depth to that deals with drawing you can set uh, you can draw a line 810 from 00, zero in sketch mode. Alright, set scale. That deals with scaling your part. So if you want your part half the size or if you want to convert it from metric to inches, that deals with scale. Okay? So that covers all these buttons. We went over how you can, all these four, these main four, you can open, create a new or save. These right here are all deal with your mouse. That deals with uh, the history of your views. And the other, other ones that you'll need to know is going to be covered in the next following videos. Okay? So, file. File just has the same buttons. So, you can open and create a new document and save them. Alright, create deals with creating geometry. Edit deals with editing that geometry. Display deals with your uh, the way you move the geometry with your mouse and stuff like that. Alright, NC deals with your tool pass, so that'll be co covered in multiple videos. Analyze deals with analyzing from point to point and angles and things of that nature. Tools, tools will be where you can convert 
inches to metric and set your axes and stuff like that. Customize your keyboard so you can customize hotkeys and things like that. And you got your help, which doesn't help that much. Their descriptions are pretty brief, so that's why we are here. So, go ahead and enjoy the next few videos, and we will talk to you soon.